Uh, some of you might be aware of the kind of automatic functionality that XLC offers and uh, the automatic naming and automatic redrawing of equations uh, it gives you a tremendous productivity tool and you can see equations change as you uh, play around with the, your calculation. Uh, but there's some issues with performance because obviously uh, uh, we have to get the software to check uh, when things change to go off and trigger some action to do something uh, and uh, this tutorial is all about using this button here uh, and it's about knowing when it's appropriate to uh, keep the automatic XLC functioning on uh, and when you, you can switch it off uh, as well but first of all I'm going to describe this problem to you. It's a very, very big, long calculation. It's about uh, 350 rows or so. There's lots of equations here that you can see. Uh, and I'm, I'm working in an automatic mode. I'm working. I'm actually doing this on a on a fairly weak and puny laptop. Uh, but it, it it has no real problem with uh, changing. Let's change a few formulas. Let's change the, the sigma one to s one, uh, and you can see it takes a little time to go searching through. But there you go. It's done it already. Uh, there's uh, we've changed the the sigma ones to s one there, and we can uh, equally uh, change them back again and really this isn't any kind of uh, tremendous overhead but it's quite a large calculation spreadsheet so uh, oh, I've done a capital sigma there um, so uh, that's not very good it should be lowercase sigma but I think it illustrates the point it's not really going to slow you down even with enormously long calculations but I'm going to show you now a calculation uh, this one here uh, where it is appropriate to turn off and I think you when I, as soon as I show it to you you'll see why here we, we're producing lots and lots and lots of uh, calculations and we're going to generate an animation now that's a lot of calculation and uh, it, it's been continuously updated with time so I'm going to just reset this now uh, and I've switched off the functionality I'm going to go start playing this it's a wonderful little calculation that I'm going to talk about in, uh, in another tutorial but um, you know we can see here there's a lot of number crunching going on and if I had uh, XLC set to uh, uh, automatic it would really slow the calculation down so previously I'm going to stop that calculation now previously we've had the automatic uh, functionality switch on the about XLC and settings form but we've now put it here in this nice handy place where we can we know when it's on uh, and we know when it's off so thank you very much for listening and I hope that's uh, useful to you.